Hi, it's Chester at BluePK Computer Training, and in this video, I want to show you how to start a new line in an Excel cell. I'm going to show you how to do it if you're typing in the values manually, but also I'll show you how to do it with formulas. I'll start by typing the name, and then in the same cell, I want the street address. Now, if I press Enter, you'll know that I'll come down a cell, but if I press Alt Enter, stays within the cell but comes down on a new line. Alt enter again to enter the city name and I'll press enter. You'll also notice it's adjusted the row height for me. If I want to continue to edit this cell then I can double click into it or press the F2 key on my keyboard. Say if I accidentally typed the county name on the same line as Brighton I can easily bring it down onto a new line by clicking just before the first letter of that piece of the address, Alt Enter, and again, it'll bring it down onto a new line. So lastly, for the postcode, Alt Enter, into my postcode, press Enter, and you can see it's again adjusted the row height for me, and I have each part of the address on a separate line. So in this sheet, I've got a database of addresses, and I want the name and address in the same cell. By far the easiest way of achieving this is with a function called text join, which isn't available in older versions of Excel. So I will go on to show you how to do the same thing with concatenate. With text join, what you do is you specify a delimiter to separate the fields within the cell. And we want a line break to delimit the values. And a line break on a PC is character 10. On a Mac, it's character 13. I'm on a PC. The next argument, ignore empty. This is useful if you have a field that isn't used in every address, such as address two in mine. I wouldn't want that to create a blank line within the cell. So I'm gonna say true, comma. And then text one, you can select all the cells that you want to join together. If I close the bracket, press enter. Initially, what it does is it puts the whole thing in one cell, which isn't what I want. But it's easy to fix. All you do is you go up to wrap text up here. It's on the home tab. And then if I copy this down, you'll see it works for all the other addresses. Text join is brilliant if you have it, but if you don't, you can use concatenate. And with concatenate, you have to specify each bit of text that you want to join together. And we're going to have to join that with the line break character. 10 on a PC, 13 on a Mac. And I have to copy this because I'll have to put it in lots of times. And I've got to refer to each cell and then concatenate it with that character 10. Now I'll do this quickly so not to bore you. see after the last cell reference you don't need a character 10 you don't need a new line and if i press enter and copy this down you'll see it works except where we have that blank cell it creates a blank line which is what text join kind of overcame for us automatically we can still get around this though using the substitute function i'm going to widen the column a little bit to make the formula editing a little bit easier I'm going to double click up here and I'm going to use the substitute function. And the text I want to substitute in is returned by my concatenate function. And the old text that I want to substitute would be two character 10s or character 13s if you're on a Mac. And I want to replace that with one character 10. And then I just close the bracket for substitute, press enter, copy it down, and it deals with the problem where we have some addresses with an empty address to field. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful. Please subscribe if it has, and I'll see you next video.